there are no crystal balls in medicine. Uncertainty causes apprehension and raises difficult questions that patients are counting on you to answer. Learning how to handle tough questions builds trust and comfort, transforming patient experience. Today, we'll cover some of the toughest patient questions and offer practical advice to answer them. Is it bad is a simple question without an easy answer. Before diagnosis, remind patients that there are several causes of their symptoms and more tests may be needed. Avoid mentioning the most negative possibilities and reassure patients that you'll do everything necessary to get answers and treat them effectively. At diagnosis, is it bad, gets at whether a condition is treatable and its effect on quality of life. Be honest, illnesses have a wide range of impacts, from mere annoyance to life-threatening. Explain test results and what treatments are available, then encourage the patient to help decide what comes next. Difficult questions are often part of a challenging encounter between patient, doctor, and staff, and they can worsen due to doctor stress and burnout. Rapid breathing, hand wringing, or clenched fists from the patient indicates heightened anxiety or depression. Saying, I understand why you feel that way, is an empathetic first step to re-establishing positive communication. In a busy office, you may hear, why am I waiting so long? Avoid this by keeping the patient updated or offering to reschedule. Apologize and tell them it won't happen again. The practitioner should echo this by explaining a problem needed extra attention and assuring the patient their time won't be cut short. Patients may question why they have to redo forms they've filled out for other doctors. Try this approach. Being complete is important to the doctor, so he or she can take the best care of you. I'm happy to help. What about patients who have seen multiple doctors without getting better? Remind them that if multiple doctors and numerous tests have not uncovered serious problems, that's a good sign. Arranging regular contact enables you to see if anything new comes up and spares patients from unnecessary repeat testing. When delivering bad news, difficult questions always arise. Try to know who will be present, review the clinical circumstances beforehand, and allow enough time for the patient to process and discuss. Ask the patient and their family how much more they would like to know. Take time to address the next steps and additional resources, and then summarize and arrange appropriate follow-up. Medicine is often described as part art and part science. Handling difficult questions may fall more on the art side, but it goes a long way toward elevating a patient's experience.